welcome to the RCN Rocket Chief. This is the Duelist. So named because my self-appointed mission was to uh, do a dual deployment from this rocket. One parachute coming from the midsection, the other from the more traditional nose cone area, without the use of electronics or any of those fancy remote controlled uh, activations. Um, down in the doobly-doo, and hopefully up here, there'll be a link to the test flights for the Duelist. Not the easiest little kit to make because, of course, it's all custom parts. So, I present Duelist 2. As you can see, a little smaller. But it is the sixth kit we've built from the attempt to build eight model rockets from the Estes Designer Special. So, in this case, as uh, with the other Duelist, it will uh, launch and deploy from the midsection and from the nose cone area. So to load up the Duelist, we're fortunate that uh, we don't need any recovery wadding because as you can see, the uh, space for the first chute is a little limited and I did use the small 9 inch chute uh, from the kit. So we simply uh, take it, uh, fold it into kind of a spearish shape and then uh, wrap the uh, shroud lines around it loosely of course and then shovel that down actually excuse me then we put in the uh, shock cord and then as always the actual rocket. I'm not doing it super neat here. I'd pay a little more attention if we were going to go right out to the field. But you'll be going to the field in just a moment to see how this all worked out. Then it's got two launch lugs, of course, one for each half for uh, extra safety. You line those up. And then the top part, super simple. Just do up your uh, chute like always. There's no requirement for recovery wadding as there is a baffle in this half which you'll see during the construction phase and we just simply do that up like normal put it in and away we go the uh, tricky part of course that uh, I've had is the weather here off the Atlantic coast of Canada it has been uh, cool and really humid so things can get a little sticky but uh, also down below you'll find the uh, open rocket and a PDF file uh, if you choose to make one and uh, let us know how that goes. Carry on. Duelist on a C65. It's minus 12. There's hardly a breeze of air. So we're going to give it a shot in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, launch. Nice straight flight. Bit of a turnover there at Apogee. Here comes the ejection charge and at least one chute. And boy, it's going to be drifting way outside the confines of the field. But uh, looks like it'll be a safe recovery in somebody's front yard. The Duelist. Looks like kind of a hard landing. Let's see. Doesn't seem to be any obvious damage. The chutes didn't unfurl. It's uh, minus 12, so I guess that's probably that. But it did look like they both deployed. So, successful flight. Launch. Nice slow takeoff. Not going to go very high. That long delay may hurt us. And ooh, just right at the last minute. But uh, let's see what we got. So the, as you saw, didn't go very high. B44, obviously a little too late for this particular rocket. C was perfect. We get a chance, we'll try it on a B64 to see if we can get a little more height out of it. The key to question here is whether it actually deployed the two chutes on a B so that it's worthwhile trying it again. Kind of looks like it did. Of course, it's really cold, minus 12, but everything did deploy. Oh no. Oh yes, yeah, everything did deploy. So, oh no. The uh, main chute didn't come out. So not a complete success at all.
Here's everything you need to put together the Duelist 2 from the Estes Special Kit. Um, in this case, of course, starting with the engine mount, you'll be uh, using three of the big rings, and the engine mount itself will be just slightly longer than the bottom section of the rocket, which we're cutting up here, um, to end up with two sections and a very large stuffer tube slash motor mount in an attempt to funnel the ejection gases past this chute, which of course, as we've seen, goes in stuffed around the top of it, and then uh, is used to blow through the uh, baffle, which is coming up here, um, and then to eject the upper uh, uh, parachute as well. So all in all, a uh, fairly straightforward build, but certainly not a beginner's build. Here we're putting together the baffles, which uh, was kind of neat. was able to use one of the uh, little transition pieces. We had to peel it to make sure that it fit properly inside the tubes. Drill out the little holes to make sure that everything uh, was fed through. Um, and in this case, of course, there's two uh, shock cords. One between the lower section and then, of course, between the upper section and the nose cone. So a uh, lot's going on to put this kit together and here we see that the two sections are getting ready to go together and I used a nice stable uh, fin design as well and we saw that in the launches that it was a pretty stable kit so no problem there although again make it seems like a C engine is certainly the power required to make sure that these baffles uh, don't suck up all the energy when you're trying to blow the nose cone off as well so uh, easy to put together, a little bit of uh, white glue, usual things, make sure it fits in there nice and uh, smooth. And then we're able to get that uh, upper stage or upper section together properly. And I used a 12 inch parachute, although we didn't manage to get it unfurled during this particular thing. We've seen, of course, during the test that it works fine. Here's a shot, no paint, uh, carry on. <laughs> 